So we're going to go ahead and look at a solution stoichiometry problem. And by stoichiometry, I just mean a calculation where we take what we know uh, in terms of reactants and products, and we calculate how much of each we need. So this chemical equation here would be an interesting one to review. Uh, this is HCl, this is hydrochloric acid, and this is what is present in your stomach. And sometimes you have too much HCl, and so you need to neutralize it. And that is a reaction that gets rid of the acid and, and converts it into a neutral salt. And calcium carbonate is a great way to do that. In fact, that's the active ingredient in Tums. So Tums is essentially pressed calcium carbonate with some binders and maybe some uh, things to make it smell good and taste good. So let's go ahead and run a calculation and ask ourselves how much calcium carbonate do we need to neutralize all of our tummy acid. And to set up the problem, we'll need to know the concentration of HCl. And in our stomach, it turns out the HCl has a concentration on the order of 0.1 moles per liter. So the hydrochloric acid inside our tummy right now has a concentration of 0.1 moles in every one liter. We have somewhere on the order maybe of 1,800 milliliters of stomach acid. And so the question would be, how many grams of calcium carbonate would we need to neutralize this much acid? So let's go ahead and start this. So we set up this kind of problem by go ahead and writing our moles directly underneath our chemical equation. And then on the line below, we will write grams, or in this case, we will write milliliters just to kind of help us do this conversion. So what do we have here in the problem? We have 1800 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and we need to turn it into moles and we can turn it into moles by using molarity as a conversion factor. So molarity is the factor that gives us the relationship between moles and liters. We can then turn that into uh, moles of calcium carbonate and we're going to use our fingers here, right? So we're going to use our coefficients in our chemical equation. So uh, if you remember, we can point to the things we're interested in. So two of these, right, require one of these to use up. And the very last step here is gonna go ahead and convert it into grams. So we need to know how many grams of calcium carbonate. And for that, we'll need the molar mass of our calcium carbonate. And uh, this is the setup we're gonna use for this problem. So let's work on these steps one at a time. So uh, what is molarity? Molarity is a conversion factor. So if we say 0.1 molar, we mean that there is 0.1 moles of hydrochloric acid in every liter. We have 1800 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. We can't use it until we convert it to liters. If we remember that there's a thousand milliliters in a liter, or we can just shift the decimal three times, I suppose, to make it 1.8, either would work. And now we can write our conversion factor. So uh, let's check our units. Milliliters have canceled, leaving us with liters. So we need to get rid of those liters somehow, and we can get rid of those liters by writing one liter on the bottom and our 0 0.10 moles of HCl on the top of our expression. And if we go ahead and we do that on our calculator, we find that we have 0.18 moles of hydrochloric acid. So that's our step one of the problem figured out. We've gone to the moles of hydrochloric acid. Step two requires us to go to the moles of calcium carbonate. And we use our fingers for that, remember? So there's two HCLs to one calcium carbonate. So that allows us to write a conversion factor that says that two moles of HCl are going to go ahead and neutralize one mole of calcium carbonate. And so we can set that up as a conversion. So let's go ahead and switch to blue. We've got our 0.18 moles of HCl. And our conversion factor relates uh, two moles of HCl. So they have to go on the bottom to cancel those units to one mole of calcium carbonate that goes on the top because those are the units we want to end up with. We can just double check here by canceling units and we can see that that leaves us uh, 0 0.09. Now our calculator will actually stop there but we actually need a second significant figure so 0 0.090 and those are moles of calcium carbonate. And so we just need to take those 0 0.090 moles of calcium carbonate now, and we need to figure out how heavy that is going to be, and that needs us uh, to calculate the molar mass of calcium carbonate. So at the end of the problem, we've got to figure out how heavy are 0 0.09 moles of calcium carbonate. So we need the molar mass, so we have uh, one calcium, and we have one carbon, we have three oxygens. Calcium weighs 40.08 carbon weighs 12.01. Sometimes we use that a lot. That's uh, helpful to commit to memory. And oxygen weighs 16.00. So we can add that up. That'll give us the molar mass. 
which I get to be 100.09 grams per mole. So now we can run that through a conversion problem, right? So we can go ahead and we can take our 0 0.090 moles of calcium carbonate and we need to convert. So uh, we need moles on the bottom. So one mole of calcium carbonate weighs 100. 0 0.09 grams of calcium carbonate and again if we punch this in on our calculator we'll get the answer and I make that 9.0 grams of calcium carbonate so 9.0 grams of calcium carbonate would be necessary to neutralize all that hydrochloric acid in our tummy yum yum